Hello everybody, my name is Matheson. Welcome back to my Mountain of Depression. Also known as getting over it. Uh, alright. Let's try and forget our rules that we set place. Rule one. Patience. And, uh, going with that rule, I've actually adjusted my mouse sensitivity to a little bit below 50%. Though it might be a bit too much, but it gives me finer... <clears throat> finer control over the hammer. And I think that is going to be utterly imperative to our climb here on Hell Mountain. Which, you know, is exactly as it sounds. So, let, let's go back, you know? Let's roll the tape back a bit and let's let's figure out what went wrong for us. And I honestly think a lot of it can be attributed to a mouse that was maybe overly sensitive like that is, it is very possible that that was the case i already feel like i have way more control than i did before granted i'm i'm, I'm slipping a bit right now because i'm too busy you know trying to get back to where i was but i have confidence my man and woman i know there's a lot of ladies watching this and uh we can make this work we can make this we can make this work 101%. Look at this. Look at this. Just two episodes ago, we were having issues in a way that we weren't before. And today, we're new men. And or women. That ain't gonna gonna die here. Hey, listen. Mountain, I need you to hold up, dog. It's been two minutes again, and every time I hit the two-minute mark, I feel like I notice that the game is being a, a little aggressive, as it were. Uh, so I'm trying not to let that get to me. Okay. So what, what, what was the hope there, Mathis? That's a, good, that's a good question. What was the hope there? The hope there, honestly, was to quickly throw myself off this big ass rock. And honestly, rule one <clears throat> patience is actually working out nicely for us. I have to admit. You know? We haven't needed the high school <clears throat> technique yet. There we go. And we found ourselves within three minutes at the Devil's Chimney. And what are we gonna do here at the Devil's Chimney? Well, friends. What we always do here at the Devil's Chimney. Succeed. That's right. This game cannot beat me. It's, it's not possible. This is about getting over your fears. And the Devil's Chimney. I ain't afraid of you, bitch. I'm just trying to not lose. Nope. Well, there goes everything. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Ice tea. I. F it's too early. It's too early to implement rule two. Oh. Fuck the narrator. It's just not. Oh. It's too early for that. Oh. I. You know, I did that on purpose. That was a hundred percent on purpose. It's fine. I. I am fine. Thank you for asking. That's it. That's all we needed right there. That little hook. Just gotta go around. Okay. I'm not quite sure where that momentum came from. My my cauldron man has upper body strength of fucking Hercules. Maybe he's Hercules. Maybe this is Hercules in a weird warped reality where logic is long gone. And he's trying to, you know, make a comeback for the people here. You know, he's trying to prove that he is Hercules. But every, every human on Earth lives in a cauldron now for some weird reason. All their legs are gone. They've evolved cauldron bottom halves. Which I don't even want to know how, like, reproduction happens then. When to the sessions of sweet, silent thought, I summon up remembrance of things past. I sigh the lack of many a thing I sought, and with old woes new, wail my dear time's waste. William Shakespeare, Sonnet 30. I actually despise this man's what? voice. I don't know if he's trying to sound condescending or if it's, nat it's his natural tone, but it, I hate him. Okay, we're fine. No, we're not so fine. 
Oh, we're going back down. Why am I having issues with this? This is something I should be good at. We went up the Devil's Chimney. We succeeded in getting up the Devil's Chimney. I'll tell you why. Because I'm in a hurry. I'm in a hurry, and that's the problem. Rule one! Patience. But, uh, let me, let me, so let me say, this guy has the upper body strength of Hercules. Like I said, maybe this is some weird world where humanity has developed bottom halves only made of cauldrons, and this mountain exists, and no human has ever gotten up it. And they have said in their, in their legends, only Hercules with a sledgehammer would ever be able to climb this mountain. And so that's what I'm trying to prove. I'm trying to prove... Then I'm Hercules, bring humanity back to their senses, more or less. <clears throat> Alright. We're back. Look who's back. Back again. Coffee cup land. Tell a friend. Uh, Patience so, is the again. foundation of eternal peace. You know Make else? anger your enemy. Harm comes to those who know only victory and do not know defeat. Find fault with yourself and not with others. It's in falling short of your own goals that you'll surpass those who exceed theirs. Tokugawa Ieyasu. Like I said, this is a dumb man's The Witness. The developer saw The Witness, he said, I she can do that. She defeat with unconquerable eyes. Atticus. But instead of making it the player's fault for not figuring out a puzzle, we're going to make it the developer's fault for implementing garbage physics and a momentum system that only makes sense if you're a demigod on Earth. But that's fine. I figured I just didn't have enough sadness in my life when I decided to listen to Nick and pick this game up. You know what I'm saying? Your failure here is a metaphor. Shut! To learn for what? Please the resume climbing. Up. Rob Dubbin. You know what's going to be at the top of this mountain? What? Fucking nothing. What? Nothing good. If No Man's Sky taught me anything, is the developers mm -mm. don't actually know how to make proper endings to their game. But it's for the sake of the art, Mathis. Fuck the art. It's too early. Too early for salt. We're not even halfway through this episode yet. What's my goal? I'd like to get through Devil's Chimney a second time. Or third, technically, I think. I'm finding myself actually going with the, with the newfound uh, sensitivity that I have on my mouse here. Okay, here's where we gotta relax. High school technique may be necessary here. See, again, it doesn't go up fast enough. It's fine, we're, we're at Barrel Town. Don't you dare, sir. Okay. Like, this little area is nice because it's almost like a little reprieve. No, see, don't do that. Why? See, this, the mouse sensitivity sometimes, like, is fine, and other times it's like, you know what? F you, dog. And then it just does its own thing. Alright, what if we go... Wah, up. No, I'm trying to go up and down here. There. All right, we're back to Devil's Chimney, everybody. How do you know you're in Devil's Chimney, Mathis? You just know that this is Devil's Chimney. I oddly, I think I have more of a problem getting to Devil's Chimney than I do getting through Devil's Chimney. Granted, Devil's Chimney ain't no joke. But I've had a harder time getting through and back to it after I've lost it than I have actually getting through it when I have the ability to do it. Now I can't pogo for garbage. And I don't know if the pogo problem is the mouse sensitivity problem or not. Mm. 
Good. Up. No. <laughs> high school technique. It. High school technique. It there, fam. High school. See, stick it out and take it, put it whatever's in what's what's willing. High school technique. Also colloquially, all right. Apparently, we just decided that we don't want to be there anymore. See, I need to go back and play some of the uh, the nonsense that I think happens. I really do blame about thirty percent of my failure on the game. The other 70%? Sure, man. It's me. 100%. 30? Like that? How did that not... That angle was fine. See, so, ah, because he doesn't pull it in all the way. That I get. That's just his style. Got to drag yourself back up to Devil's Chimney Town. And we're back. Okay, why didn't high school technique not work there? Why did he, like, lose his grip on the light there? Don't we'll just keep the mouse really far off to the right. See, it readjusts itself though, the mouse. The mouse moving back there, that's not me. That is not me. Stay. It's fine. High school technique? Boom. Boom. All right. Before we do anything, think. Pogoing is the best thing that we've been able to do so far. <sighs> is that really our best bet, though? I think it is. I think pogoing is our best bet here. We pogo up and then we have to like get our hammer up basically as fast as we can. Episode three is the day is the episode where we don't let the rage consume us completely. I can't tell if momentum has anything to do with how fast we pogo or not. It must, right? Like, it only makes sense. We could wedge ourselves in there, actually. Because we've done it before. Don't let yourself be stupid here. Slow and steady. I can't... Is there... There has to be, like... I, I, I find myself wanting to know, like, how the game works. Because I, I feel like I can't strategize if I don't know the physics engine properly. It's like I'm rowing a boat. No. See, why did he do that? No. I didn't do that. Go around that way, where there's no rock to push on. See, all right, we're get, we're starting to get the technique to at least get back up here. Uh, 
Oh, we went like nowhere there. <clears throat> around, around the other side so we don't touch the brick wall. Okay. Honestly, this might be, we may, we may be needing to use this rock more than we have been. Guys, we might be back up Devil's Chimney. I'm, I'm, I'm hesitant to get too excited. Just pull. No, no. Okay. We, we're up. Patience and high school technique. We're through Devil's Chimney. Please, no. Okay, that's fine. Here we go. This is where we started developing the rules uh, of getting over it. This is this is the first place we started developing any rules. So we're going to go up and around. You know what? We don't need to go up and around. I might be able to reach... If I can get on top of this, I might actually be able to reach that ledge from here. I can't. Dude, you could... Let's be honest. Hey, can we, can we just, like, look at this, this arm extension? That's as high as he'll extend his arms. Keeping that shit bent. Hercules don't do that, fam. Hercules don't do that, fam. God damn it. Alright. Oh. Stop. Whoop. High school, high school. Why? See, that's too much momentum. Ugh. Guys, we're we're almost at the apartment. I'm just trying to get a hook onto that. Like that. High school. Like, I've, I've been trying to high school technique this for like the past three or four tries. Mm. See? Okay, so here's what I'm starting to learn. This game requires precision that it also doesn't give you. Like, I want to get to, to the metal thing, but I, I, I can always overshoot it no matter how slow I go. And so I end up hitting the wall and pushing myself away and generating momentum in a direction I, d I don't want. Whoop. See, right there, right there. Mm. I high school technique that. I didn't do anything there. Are you serious? Mm. I don't know what happened. See, this is why rules are meant to be broken. Over no! time, we've poured more and more refuse Fuck. into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. Oh god, here it we now vastly go outnumbers again. and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. This is the guy, this and is the guy who looks at the internet. Trash, trash mm. becomes the new medium, the lingua franca of the digital Ooh. age. And you can build culture out of trash. But only trash culture. B games, B movies, B music, B philosophy. This guy... I don't know if this is the developer. Like, if he, if, if, if this is his true thoughts, but, dude, you need to chill. You, you think too much about the internet. Uh, excuse me? Okay. What am I supposed to do here? I don't... Whoop. I'm just gonna pull myself... Whoop. I don't wanna fall. The vertical wall here has a way of getting it harder okay. the more times you try it. 
I think anger makes you swing the hammer harder, and that can push you away from the wall. That's probably the only tip you have given me that actually makes any damn sense. You Jonathan Blow wannabe. Except for that one time that I scaled it completely. So, my question, I guess, is what the fuck am I supposed to do at that point where I can't fit myself through the wall? The, the, it's not like I can make myself go smaller. Okay, that's good. What? Why did he do that? Why did my character just do that? I don't understand your logic, Hammer Man. I hate you. I hate you. I hate this stupid game. I hate that you people watch it. No high, there's no way a high, st high school can, technique can work when every possible thing that could take it is about a foot away from you. I'm getting pretty good at least at hooking myself up to like certain parts here. Rule one, Mathis. Patience. That was me being patient, by the way. I've had, I've actually, I think I've had more success at this part by not being patient and just swinging and hoping for the right circular motions that my wrist can make. I wonder if. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Didn't think I was gonna land, so I didn't bother. See, like, I didn't even hook- That didn't even- I don't understand that. I didn't even hook in anything other than the wall there, and it actually dragged me upward. That's why I think this game is poorly made. Um... I'm not giving up yet. Oh, no. This is where the salt ends up becoming silent salt and just silent frustration. Yo, that was actually genius in the most accidental way I've ever done anything in my entire life. I think the mouse sensitivity is about right though. I do feel like I have it at a, at a good at a good place. That makes sense for the way I want to play, at least. I feel like I have more control. Oh, sweet Christmas. Okay, stop. Oh, I bet I know what I have to do. Oh, you bastard of a game. Yep, I know what I need to do here. So what I need to do is like up and up. Cool, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. I consider this progress because we didn't start at the bottom for next episode. Thanks for watching. 
and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.